Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am both excited and like a little bit nervous to do this video. Um, I recently saw a video where a creator was ranking all of her cream and liquid blushes from like her least favorite to her most favorite. And I said to myself, that sounds like a fun way to torture myself. So I have been sitting here like struggling <laughs> over which of my children I love the most because cream blushes are like my favorite thing in makeup right now. So this was not easy. However, I have come up with a ranking. Um, all of these are subject to change at any point in time, but as of right now today, this is how I would rank my cream and liquid blushes. So if you're getting into cream blush, this video might be helpful. I have a ton of cream and liquid blushes and I've tried even more. So every one I have in my collection is at least worth keeping. And I'll kind of talk you through my ranking and a little bit of why I have each one in each spot. I'm gonna try not to harp because there's a bunch of them. So with that all being said, let's not waste any more time and get right into it. So before we get into the ranking, I would just like to make the quick disclaimer that I like all of these blushes or I wouldn't have kept them in my collection. I just like some of them more than others, number one. Number two, if I rank your favorite at the bottom, it's cool because we can all like different things. Great, let's get into it. So coming in at the bottom, I will put numbers right here because I did not count these. So editing me gets to count. But starting at the bottom, we have the ColourPop Cheek Dew. This one is in the shade Psst. Psst. Um, I like these. I, I don't love them. And my main gripe is that they separate so bad. I have to shake the crap out of them before I can use them. Um, and even then, sometimes they're still kind of separating and they get kind of greasy, oily. That being said, um, when I get them to go on and not be greasy oily, I think they're really beautiful. They have a really nice shine to them. They're not super pigmented. It dries a little bit from this. It's not always that shiny. They kind of smell like bubble gum. And I think that the lasting power on these is really good, but just purely because they can be so finicky to work with and they can really get separate and they're not super pigmented. That's why this one's at the bottom. Next, I have this Bite Beauty Daycation Whipped Blush. I have the shade Melon Mojito. This is fine. I picked it up at TJ Maxx because Bite had recently been discontinued and I was intrigued that they came out with a cream blush. It's kind of just okay. It, it's nothing to write home about. The packaging is weird. Uh, but yeah, it's it's fine. Like, it looks pretty on the face. It's just not anything super special. It's a pretty color. It kind of comes out whipped, um, but it has a really nice thin formula that dries down easily. It has a little bit of sheen to it. There's nothing specifically wrong with it. It's just not really, I don't think about it much. I kind of forget that I have it some of the time, but it's fine. Like it's a cute blush. Next, I have this ColourPop blush stick in the shade Cottage Life. I promise I don't hate all ColourPop blushes. We'll get to that. But, um, I mean, again, there's nothing really wrong with this. I like the color a little bit more than the Bite one, so that's why I'm ranking it a little bit higher. It's it's nice. It's fine. You know, like, it, it's, it looks good on. It lasts okay. Um, I do find that you kind of have to build these a little because if you blend them out, they can kind of blend out to nothing pretty quick. But, yeah. It's fine, you know, like it's it's a cute blush. I keep it because it's cute, but that's really all I can say about it. <laughs> Next, it actually hurts me to say this. Um, this is the Winky Lux Cheeky Rose Blush. And I'm saying this because I 110% bought this for the packaging because it's gorgeous. But that being said, the formula is just like, it's okay. It's not super pigmented. It's pretty stiff and dimethicone which makes sense because that's how the rose holds its shape. So I'm not knocking that necessarily, but it's just, it's, it's fine. Also, this isn't my favorite shade of blush. Like cool pinks aren't usually my favorite thing. So this one basically gets to this spot in the list because of the packaging. If it wasn't in this packaging, I probably wouldn't still have it because the formula is just kind of okay. But it's so beautiful that I will literally never get rid of it. <laughs> 
Next, we have this Kosas Color and Light Cream Duo in 8th Muse. It looks absolutely disgusting, so just fair warning. Um, it has this blush here and then a highlighter. I actually find that I really like how it looks when I put this blush down and then top it with this highlighter. I think they make an absolutely gorgeous combo. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just not really my, my preference. It's almost too emollient. Like, it, it, it's really very, like, it melts so fast. And again, uh, the, the kind of cool pinks aren't really my, my color. Also, I think it's kind of starting to expire. Kind of smells crayony. Am I gonna get rid of it? No, not yet. Um, but yeah, it's pretty. Again, I have nothing against it necessarily. Oh my god, I hated what that highlighter just did. Like... You see how it's kind of, maybe it is time. Maybe it is time. I'll make that decision later. This is what it looks like with the highlighter topped over it. I really like the combo. I want to get a little bit more use out of it before I admit that it is expired and needs to go. So this one is, it's it's nice. It's cute, you know. We're, we're in the nice tier right now. This is firmly in the nice tier. Getting on towards what I would call the top of the nice tier, we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Blush Sticks. These are very cute. They're super cheap, so you're kind of getting what you pay for, but they're nice, like, especially since they're like three or four dollars, they, they do the job. I have the shades Floral Majority, which is this more like satin matte rosy pink. And then I have the shade Peach Bums, which is my favorite, and it is a purported dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pink Gasm glow wand. I'm so sorry that swatch is so bad. They're actually not that far off in color. This one's just shimmery, but I love a glowy blush. So I eat that one up for sure. It's cute. It works really well. The lasting power is nice. They blend beautifully. I have no qualms about them. Again, they're nice. <laughs> Another firmly nice blush, the Flower Beauty Gel Crush Lip and Cheek. Mine is in the shade Raspberry Crush. I have a little bit of this topped over the blush I was wearing today. It's cute. Again, nothing wrong with it. I actually kind of like the deodorant type packaging. It smells like candy and I do like the shade. It has a little bit of glow to it. It's, it's, it's a very cute blush. I just kind of forget about it. It's, it's not really like making itself stand out in my collection, if that makes sense. But it's very pretty and I really need to use it more because it's, it's nice. <laughs> Don't take a shot every time I say nice. <laughs> Next, I have this teeny tiny nudies all over dewy color. It's one of the dewy blushes from Nude Sticks, and this one is in the shade Bohemian Rose. Uh, this one would be higher if the shade was different. I got this in a little set, so I didn't get to pick the shade. It's kind of one of those cool pinks, but I do like the dewier finish. Obviously, it doesn't stay quite that dewy, uh, but it does keep the dewiness when you blend it out. And you can really, it actually shows up on the cheeks. It actually translates as a dewy finish. My one beef with it that prevents it from getting a little higher is the dewy finish stays just a touch tacky. Just a little. It's not bad. It's not like my hair is sticking to it or anything, but like I can tell. And that bugs me a little. But overall, I, I really like how it ends up looking on the skin, so... Next, I have the Super Dewy Liquid Blush from Makeup Revolution. This is in the shade You Got Me Blushing. These are very, very pigmented, so it goes a long way, which is nice in some ways, but also not that great in others. I don't think it stays that dewy on the skin. Like, it goes on pretty dewy. You can see that. Uh, but I, I think it dries down to kind of just like a skin-like finish. Again, not like my dream color. It's a little cooler than I would tend to go, but not bad. Again, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. It's a nice liquid blush, but nothing to really write home about. On a similar note, the Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush. This is in the shade Nude Flush. Again, I don't have anything bad to say about it. This, honestly, the formula of this one and the Makeup Revolution one are not that different. I just like the color of this one more. And this one stays a little dewier, I think. I'm not big on the liquid blushes as I am on the uh, creams in like a compact. So this is just kind of a point of personal preference why a lot more of the liquid ones tend to be lower on the list. But you can see that's it. Kind of a little bit more subtle, but I do find that this one builds well. I just like the color more. And the fact that it's a little bit dewier. I'm a, I'm a dewy girl, so I like that. 
But yeah, I mean, these are really nice liquid blushes. If you're into liquid blushes, I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's just that I tend to prefer compact blushes. So. And once again, because I tend to prefer cream compact blushes over liquid blushes, I might get some heat for this one. I'm sorry. Uh, the, the NARS liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna say it again. There's nothing wrong with it. And in fact, this is, this is higher than most of these liquid blushes uh, because it is, it's so nice. It has that gold shimmer running through it that is so classic for NARS Orgasm. Um, it's a very pigmented, dewy formula that still dries down. The pearl running through it is not like aggressive. So it just gives kind of a natural looking shine. Obviously it's the gorgeous peachy pink. I, I don't feel badly about it, but honestly, because it is a liquid, I just kind of forget to use it compared to my compact creams. And it's not like life changing, but it is a better formula than some of these drugstore ones. That's true. So I don't dislike it, but what are they charging for these? Like 30 something dollars? I'm not gonna pay that <laughs> again. <laughs> I just, I kind of am realizing that I put all of the liquid blushes in like the same spot, but this is the M Cosmetics. What are these? What are these even called? These are like the blush drops. Whatever. I don't care. The shades, Venetian Rose. Serum blush? I don't know. I hate the applicator with a fiery passion, but, uh, cause it doesn't work, but the shade is so beautiful and it keeps that dewy finish so well. Um, it is a serum, so it feels very gel-like kind of skin carry. It melts right into the skin because of that and it maintains that dewy finish. So all of the things I like in a liquid formula with my ideal shade, again, it's just the liquid blush. So I don't love it as much as I do a compact blush. Rounding out these this kind of section of liquid blushes, might be surprised, the Profusion Blush Hour Liquid Blush. First of all, I just think the packaging is precious and it works so much better than the M Cosmetics one. Uh, I love the little sponge applicator. And this is kind of a sleeper shade for me. It looks super orange. And when I first applied it, like, and I swatch it, I'm like, oh, that's literally the color orange. And I don't always love how orange blushes look on me, but I just, trust me, when I apply this to the cheeks, it looks like this gorgeous, like sun-kissed, corally color. It doesn't look this aggressively orange. It's so impressive to me. I don't know. And this is like $5. So honestly, yes, I am considering price. I am considering bang for your buck here. And as far as liquid blushes, this is just really nice. The packaging is so cute. And like the quality for $5 is really impressive. I actually want to get another one of these. They have like a true red one. And I've been so into red cream blushes lately. And I absolutely am gonna pick it up because again, it's $5, like why wouldn't I? Next, I have this Love Heat Cream Blush from Moira Cosmetics. This is in the shade I Love You. Like I said, I've been on this red blush kick. Uh, this, it's kind of similar to the Tower 28 blushes, but different. You can see that the packaging is very similar. Number one, it's so hard to open. And yes, I am taking that into account. It's like the last time I opened this, I dug my fingernail into it. You can see right there. The red color is gorgeous. I've been super into that and I was not disappointed. However, I will say this is mad pigmented, which can make it a little bit of a challenge to use because while it does have that same kind of emollience that the Tower 28 one does, I feel like it starts to dry down faster, which in some ways is a good thing because it will dry down. It will stay in place on your face, but it also means that it, you kind of have to be a little bit quicker and a little more aggressive with blending it out. Otherwise you're gonna get like a giant red splotch on your face. People calling this a dupe for the Tower 28, I disagree with, but is it bad? No, and I love the color. I love the color. So that goes a long way with me. These are cute. I feel like I would try another shade, especially since they're like eight or nine dollars. I'm not mad at it. I feel like we could make some improvements though. Next, again, this might get me some heat. This is the Nudies Matte Cream Blush, whatever it is, in the shade Beach Babe. There's nothing wrong with this. It's fine. It's cute, in fact. Uh, it has kind of a blurring property. The shade is gorgeous. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this. It's just that these are so expensive. I think these are like pushing 40 bucks for one of these. A and it's kind of just a matte cream blush. It, it, there's nothing particularly special about it. 
I usually kind of forget it's there. Nothing wrong with it. Very pretty, the lasting power is good, all, all the things. I just kind of forget about it. Especially for the price. Like, for pushing 40 bucks, you, you should be wowing me, and I'm just not really that wowed. It's nice. Next, you can't get these anymore, and it's such a shame. This is the Item Beauty blushing like cream blush in the shade It's Verified. I got this on sale when Item Beauty was getting phased out of Sephora. It broke. Well, that's annoying. I should have ranked it lower. If I knew that the packaging sucked, I would have ranked it lower. Anyway, the reason that this isn't higher, I love the shade. I love the shade. I love the formula. I love how it melts into the skin. I love how creamy and blendable it is. I love so many things about this, uh, but this is basically a powder. <laughs> like, do you hear that? Like, it, it's a powder. It's a powder that kind of melts into the skin like a cream, but it's, it's decidedly a powder. If it owned it and said it was a powder, then I would rank it very highly in my powder blush collection. Uh, but for a cream blush, I can't, in good faith, rank it any higher than this. And uh, just for your knowledge, I would have ranked it lower if I had noticed that the packaging was broken. So this gets knocked down a couple of pegs for that. That's really annoying. Next kind of a strong middle of the pack um, is this cream blush from Believe Beauty in the shade Dollface. The fact that this is ranked this high for me is saying a lot because it is that kind of cooler pink tone, but it's just, this is such a nice formula. It's really emollient. It goes on so smooth. Like it's just like butter when you put your finger into it. It has almost that blurring quality. Um, it does a lot of things similarly to what that Nude Sticks one does, I feel like. It's just in kind of a different format, a little more emollient. And it's $5 at the Dollar General. Like, I, I should be getting more out of a Nude Sticks blush for almost 40 bucks than I am out of one that's 5 bucks. I just, this is, it's really nice. If you see these, I recommend highly. Beautiful, beautiful. Again, pretty much the only reason I don't have it even higher on the list is because the shade is not, like, the most flattering on me. That being said, for a cool pink, I feel like this flatters me more than a lot of other cool pinks. Also pretty strong for me, uh, the e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Bali. This probably wouldn't have made it this high if I didn't love this shade as much as I do. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just kind of... They can be a little stiff. They can be a little hard to work with. If Once you melt them down a little, they, they're really nice. Um, it's just, but, oh my god, the shade of this is so yummy. I just, mm. It has a really nice, like, powder matte finish. I would say this is kind of a cream to powder product. And I don't even mind that it's not glowy, even though glowy blush tends to be my preference. I don't even mind, because it's just, this color is so nice. I need to try the luminous ones. I feel like I will like those even more, because they have a glow. And the shade Barbados is calling me. It's another one of these like warm brown kind of shades. I, I need it. Anyway, these are a solid drugstore pick. Speaking of a solid drugstore pick, although kind of pricey for the drugstore, these are the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek blushes. I have the shades Peony Pink, which is this kind of lighter, warmer, peachy pink. And then my preferred shade is this Rose Pink, which is more of a pinky neutral shade, although as I swatch them next to each other, they're looking super similar. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's rose pink and that's peony pink. But one thing I like so much about these is they do set down. They really set down. And the lasting power on them is very, very good for that. They're very pigmented, but the blendability is absolutely there. You can really shear it out or build it up. They're just very versatile. And I appreciate that. Not as glowy as I wish they were, but that's really my only gripe. Th these are fantastic for the drugstore. That being said, for being at the drugstore, they're kind of pricey. They're like $17 now or something like that. I would only get them on a sale, but they are really nice. I feel like these are very good for like beginners to cream blush because they have enough pigment, but not too much. They can be sheared out fairly easily and they last really well. So these are great. We are approaching my like tippy top tier. We are kind of in like the the ones that just missed the top tier by a bit. This really surprised me. This is brand new to my collection and I already like it so much. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Blush Wand. This is in the shade Rosé You Slay. I was so impressed with how this looked on my skin the first time I look at that glow. Oh my God. 
I could not get over how it looked on my cheeks the first time I used it. It was so beautiful. Some people have said they feel like it sets down too quickly and isn't blendable. I disagree. It blended beautifully on my cheeks. It builds well, but it can also be sheared out to a really nice wash of color with that glow. Honestly, I feel like I could have even put this higher on the list. It's just that I haven't had it for very long, so I would kind of feel like I was cheating by doing that. But this will probably continue to climb the ranks because it is so beautiful. This is a higher end one that I feel like is very pretty, but I feel like for being high end, it could do a little more. Again, we're getting towards the top. So I love this one and I wear it a lot. This is the Melt Cream Blush Light in the shade Polished. It's one of the ones that has a pearl running through it. You can kind of see that gold pearl. It has a beautiful formula, super thin in texture, very easy to blend. I mean, like look how easy that is to blend. And look at that shade, isn't that beautiful? Pretty much my only gripe is that I wish the pearl came through just a little bit more. Like I, they have a finish that's like a natural, more satiny finish. And I feel like this is kind of what I would expect the natural satiny finish to look like. And the pearl I would want like a little more. Otherwise, I mean, I have no gripes. It's, it's a beautiful blush. I love it. So I know I said I don't usually love liquid blushes and I don't, but we're getting into the exceptions. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Spiced. I've had a bunch of these and a lot of the colors just really didn't flatter me. This is the one that I found that really, really, really does. The formula is gorgeous. It's, it's like a gel texture, very, very thin, but so pigmented, like blends like nothing, sets down amazingly. The lasting power on these is absurd, but they stay dewy. This shade is exactly what I want in a blush shade. Flower Beauty makes amazing stuff and this is no exception. It's, it's gorgeous. This is, there's only one liquid blush in my collection I like more than this. Next, kind of surprised me that this was as low as it is, to be honest. This is the Makeup by Mario blush stick in the shade Dusty Rose. I don't really have any problems with this. It's absolutely beautiful. The shade is stunning, stays dewy on the skin, very emollient texture, a little thicker than I might prefer, but still very easy to work with, very pigmented, gorgeous shade. Like, you know, all the things, it just doesn't really, I don't know, it doesn't really give me the do too much. Like it's got a little bit, but it could do more. I don't know, like I like it, I love it even, but it doesn't amaze me in the way that some of the higher ones do, if that makes sense. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I think it's gorgeous, but it's just not quite my top. I would say these are the last ones before we get into like the tippity top category. These are the Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes. These are stunning. I love these. Uh, this is the shade You're a Peach. These, I would say, as, as opposed to the Moira, I think these are more similar to the Tower 28. Super emollient formula. Ridiculously blendable. They, ha they leave a little bit of a dew on the cheeks. I, these are one of the best drugstore cream blushes, hands down. Like, these are fantastic. This is the shade Nude Kiss. A little pinkier than I would have expected from a shade called Nude Kiss, but gorgeous. I love these. It, like for cream blushes that you can find at like a standard drugstore, these are my favorite, like without competition. These are so, so good. They're not quite in like the top, top, top tier, but they are super, super nice. I wish they had more shades. The peach one has been discontinued. Um, and they only have like four shades in the standard line. I wish they had more. I wish they'd come out with more because these are very, very nice. So I think we are firmly at a spot where I would say that these ones are all like my top, top, tippity top, favorite, favorite cream blushes. And be aware that having to put them in an order absolutely breaks my heart <laughs> because I love all of them so much. So we'll start with this one. This is from M Cosmetics. This is the So Soft Blush Stick in the shade Venetian Rose. The reason that this is in the, at the bottom of the top is because it's a matte formula. That's it. It would be higher if it was dewy, honestly. I, oh my goodness. The shade, stunning. I don't use the phrase blends itself lightly, but the So Soft sticks, I'm, I'm barely touching it. And it literally feels so smooth, like no patchiness. 
The shade is like that perfect sunburnt color. M Cosmetics amazes me every single time. Every single time. That is such a gorgeous blush stick. Love this. I want more colors of this for sure. Next, kind of an underrated pick in my opinion. I don't even know if these are available anymore, but I found them at TJ Maxx. These are the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. They're so nice. This is more of like a cream to powder formula. And I just think they're, so, first of all, they're kind of fun. They have like the putty texture, so you can like, I don't know, I think it's fun. They blend onto the skin absolutely effortlessly. They're not super, I, they're like a satin finish. They're not really like dewy, but look how blended that is. Oh my God, it's just, they're so easy to use. I love the colors too. This is the shade Mauve Sunrise. I don't really think it's a mauve. I think it's more of that like peachy sunburnt color. But my favorite color, of course, is this one. This is the shade Blurred Buff. I mean, they just feel so smooth. Almost similar to the Elf putty blushes, I would say, but just like smoother and easier to pick up and easier to blend. They are so stunning. Doing this, I literally just went like e -e 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 a couple times and they just blended out just like that. I really love these. I don't, if these are discontinued, I need to know why because they are phenomenal. So this feels like cheating. This feels like I should not be allowed to put it this high this soon. I've only had this for like a couple weeks and I've only tried it a few times, but God, the Glossier Cloud paint is so good. It's so good, guys. It, part of it is the shade that I got because I was just like blown away. Oh my God, it just has that like natural windswept sunburnt kind of color. This is the shade Storm. It's pigmented, but it can be blended out and sheared out so easily. It's thin, 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 lighter than air. Has a little bit of dew to it. Sinks directly into the makeup you have on. I just, it's so good. It's so good. I get why these got so much hype because it is so, so nice. One of my first loves as I forayed into cream blushes, the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. These are fantastic. These are eight or nine dollars, I think. They have matte formulas, shimmer formulas, satin formulas. They're, they've got a color for everyone. They are so, so beautiful. This is the first one that I picked up and I had this in a project pan for a while. This is called Between the Sheets. As you can see, she is very well loved. This one's kind of getting dried out. And they do almost blur on the cheeks a little bit. That's between the sheets. It goes well with everything. This one is the shade Prenup, which is also a really, really pretty shade. Kind of a cool pink, which is not usually my vibe, as I have stated a bunch of times. But this one, I don't know. It's a little soft. I do usually have to build it up a little. But what you end up with is just this really nice, like soft baby doll looking color. I don't know. Usually I prefer a little bit more pigmentation in a blush, but this one, I don't know. I just think it's really pretty and it's got that little bit of a satin sheen to it. Uh, however, my favorite is the ones with the pearlized finish. This is the shade Drop of a Hat. This might actually be my favorite. It's this like, look at that. It's this like bronzed peachy color with a gold shimmer running through it. I mean, oh my God. It's so pretty. And then this one's kind of intense, so I have to use a pretty light hand. It's the shade Voile. Um, kind of like drop of a hat, but a little bit stronger. It's like a bronzy shade. A little bit less pearl in it than drop of a hat, but gorgeous when you sheer it out. It looks like a sun-kissed. Here, let me, let me see if I can blend it out a little bit more so you can kind of see what it looks like on the cheek. Look at that. It just looks like a burn slash tan. Super pretty. I feel like the pearlized ones even blend the easiest out of all of them. I think they keep their bouncy super shockness the best. So I love these. I love these, especially for the price and the variety. Like ColourPop is so good. Next, a blush that I've referenced a few times throughout this video, but I feel like nothing can ever really beat the original. Tower 28, the Beach Please cream blushes. These are so nice. These are just so nice. Like, I feel like a lot of formulas are trying to be this one, but none of them can really do it like Tower 28 can. Pa packaging's a little bit annoying to open. This is the classic traditional shade, Magic Hour. Look how emollient that is. You touch it and it just immediately melts to your finger. But it will set back down, but it'll set back down with the most beautiful dewy finish. Kind of a thicker formula, but again, unlike that Moira one from earlier, which kind of took some effort to blend out because it's thicker, these take no effort at all. They don't tug, they don't pick up your foundation. 
they're so so pretty and then this shade is so fun power hour mm. looks very dark and intimidating but blends out to be just the most stunning i probably picked up more than i needed it blends out to be this gorgeous again like flushed terracotta somewhere between burnt and tanned shade look how well that blended other brands are trying to be Tower 28, but no one will ever be Tower 28 quite as well as they do. They're gorgeous. I love these. I wish they would come out with a red. I want Tower 28 to come out with a red. Tower 28, look at me, look at me. Red blush, trust me. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, next up, the MAC Glow Play blushes. These are so nice. These are so nice. They're that same putty texture as the like Bare Minerals ones, but like even more bouncy. They have just the right amount of sheen, just the right amount of pigment, and they blend in so beautifully. Look, you can't even see, but it like even blurs out. It just blurs out the skin a little bit, and it's just, I, mm, I love these. This is the shade Blush Please, but the first one that I got is the shade So Natural, which you can see has a little bit more sheen, which I love, of course, and it's kind of a brown, peachy color, which I love, of course. So gorgeous. This one is one of my favorites. For like a natural blush day, go with anything, like, especially if I do like a strong eye look in like a funky color, like purple or blue or something like that, this is a perfect pairing for that because it adds some color to the cheeks, but it looks really, really natural and it's not overpowering, so I don't look like a clown. These are remarkable. I love them. We made it to the top three. Um, I'm going to be honest. Before I sat down for this video, I ranked all of these except for the top three. So now I kind of have to decide on those on the fly. And I think I know what I want to do, but it's going to hurt no matter what. So here we go. Third place, the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Blushes. I have three, so obviously I like them a lot. <laughs> this is the first one I got. This is the shade Rosé Latte. This is how I fell in love with this formula. It's it's all the things, you know, it's emollient, it's it's really thin texture, um, so it blends out onto the skin so, so easily. They have really interesting colors, that's one of the things that I love about it. Obviously, you can see why I love this shade. Stunning. I also have the shade Summertime Wine, which looks very intimidating, and it kind of was, but again, it's such a thin, creamy formula that it just buffs out so easily. And then, of course, part of the reason I feel like these are so high is because this is where I discovered my love for red cream blushes. This is the shade Daiquiri Dip. And it, it looks scary, but I picked it up on like a kind of a stipply brush and I blended it like crazy. And look at that, that's the bright red. And it just gives the most like amazing, like looks like you just came out of the sun and got sunburnt look. Obsessed, obsessed. I've been trying to find a red cream blush that does what this one does, and I still haven't. So yeah, just incredible formula, incredible shades. Some of them are so fun. They have like a purple and an orange, and that's not usually my thing, but I think it's so cool that they did it. Fenty is like groundbreaking in a lot of things, so it doesn't surprise me that it got this high on the list. I absolutely love my Fenty cream blushes. Second place kind of feels like cheating, because um, it's not just a cream blush. They're actually a cream and a powder. These are the Patrick Ta blush duos. What are these called? Double Take Cream and Powder duos. I'm so sorry that they are so disgusting. And part of the reason I love these so much is the shades. I, oh my God. This is the classic She's So LA. And I'll just swatch the creams because I feel like that's only fair. The creams are so interesting. They're a little less pigmented. They're a very, very thin formula. They feel almost like a balm because they're actually meant to go on top of the powder formula. And that's how I usually wear them. And they just add the most delicious, like balmy, dewy look. But you can build them a little bit, but, like you could wear them alone. They're, the, the pigment is buildable enough that you could wear them alone. So that's She's So LA's cream blush. Obvi you know, that like warm terracotta -y brown color that I'm obsessed with. And then this one is She's Blushing, which is also just stunning. She's So LA was one of the first ones to come out. So that was when they had the more traditional balmy texture. This one has a little more substance to it. I think it could very, very easily be worn alone. So that's the one from She's Blushing. A little less balmy, a little more substance. Still not quite as thick as like the Tower 28. Um, more similar in formula to the Fenty, I would say this one is. 
and this one's got a little bit more shine. Either way, absolutely beautiful, stunning. The way that they layer on top of foundation and a powder product is so remarkable and innovative. I literally want to own like six more of these. I love this line and you can do so much with them. Like the variety you can get from having a cream and a powder and being able to layer them powder over cream or cream over powder over any kind of complexion product is just like Patrick Ta's a genius. He really is. So number one, have you guessed what it is? What is missing from this picture? The Rare Beauty liquid blushes, of course. <laughs> So all of mine are in dewy finishes because I prefer dewy over matte, just always. And these are just so special. They are so special. They require a tiny dot to get full pigment over both cheeks. And I mean, like this is a mini and I'm going to take forever to get through it if I ever get through it at all, because they're, they're so pigmented. And even when you shear them out, they still have that dewy finish that I'm looking for. The lasting power, if I need a heavy duty blush to last all day, I'm going for the Rare Beauty because I know my cheeks are gonna have pigment all day long. So that first shade I just swatched is the shade Joy. I feel like it's a much more approachable corally peach than it looks like it is in the bottle. All of them tend to be more approachable than they are in the bottle. To prove that to you, let me swatch this one next. This is my most recent find in the shade Grateful. I've been getting into red cream blushes. I saw that Rare Beauty had a true red and naturally it's my favorite formula, so I had to try it. I'm gonna put like a tiny bit because this is so wildly pigmented. I had to be so careful when I was putting this on my cheeks. It is, it is wildly pigmented. They sheer out beautifully, but you can also build them up so easily. This is obviously more pigmented than I would wear it on the cheeks, but pretty approachable for a red. And you can blend it out even more, but you see that it still maintains that dewy finish, no matter how thin of a layer you have. I don't know how they do it. They're incredible. And then this is the first full size I bought and probably still my favorite shade. This is Encourage. I think it's a really unique kind of neutral color. I'm gonna put it here so I can really do it justice. It's this like neutral pink that has a little bit of nudiness to it. Almost mauve, I don't know how to describe it. It's so, so pretty. Let me build it up a little so you can really appreciate it. These blend well with fingers, these blend well with a brush, these blend well with a sponge. I, I really wanna buy more of this line. And they're only like, what, 20, 22, $23 for a bottle of blush that will last the rest of your life. So that's Encourage built up a little more. You can see like from the shades that I showed you that I love, you can see why I love this shade so much. And again, it still has that due to it. It's gonna last all day. Rare Beauty is just, they're unmatched, okay? I've heard some people be like, oh, they're overrated. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not. They get the hype that they get for a reason because they are that good. <laughs> so I did it, you guys. Those are all of my cream and liquid blushes ranked. Uh, and yes, I did repeatedly say that liquid blushes tend to be lower than cream blushes and then ranked liquid blush at number one. I gotta keep you on your toes. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, if you got any useful recommendations or saw anything that you're interested in trying, let me know down below what it is and leave a like on this video to let me know that you enjoyed. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna see more recommendations from me in the future, maybe consider hitting subscribe while you're here. I would absolutely love to have you. So until the next one, bye you guys.